All right, so Mr. Thorne, we're going to look at your cycle two. Uh, we talked about your focus, and your focus is writing, but I really want to look at the pre-assessment, the post-assessment, and then the activities in between for your lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So if you want to look through the fall task, the first, the page on uh, T2, Okay, so that's triangle or not. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, it's like four different investigations. Okay. So think about it. Do you still want to do like a mini activity on Monday before you give them this task? Let me read it over one one time okay. real quick. We'll just look through it. Okay. I think they would be able to do the angle one. Okay. You see C? Yes. They'd probably be able to do that? Yes. The measuring with side lengths might be a little bit challenging um, as they just don't know how to measure with a ruler, basically. So I would, if we're going to do that, I want to do a, like a warm-up about how to use a ruler. So why don't we use some of their constructions from this week? Sure. And, that's, and that'll lead into um, the chart. Okay. Because I um I made another one too. Oh, you did. Okay, yeah. Great. Um. I I'll find it or I'll find it or actually, yeah, that's fine. I probably need that now. Okay. So you're gonna do the chart activity first before you do the fall lesson, right? Yes. Okay. Good. Just so that they can kind of see that like these angles do this, make a triangle, and they're measured this, so they can see all of that is okay. focused into one idea. Okay. Wonderful. I I'm made one and I pulled it aside because I was going to make copies of good uh, Freyer models. Oh, nice. And I had them pulled out so I could make a copy, but then I got started with the lesson. Look and check and see if it's underneath It's that. under something, I'm sure, because I had them right here. Okay. It's fine. Sorry. No. I, I might have put them over here. Okay, that's fine. I had them in my hand because I was going to ask you to make a copy or have me Okay, no problem. Okay. So yeah, the, just keep talking and I'll look. So the triangle or not, that's gonna be your pre assessment. And then the revisited triangle or not is gonna be your post assessment. Mm -hmm. And everything we're gonna focus on is that reasoning piece and that's your writing piece. And do you think that they should have just an extra sheet of paper for each one? Oh, I guess that is reading reasoning, right? That's not where they draw the triangle. Well, no, not in the beginning, no. Right. Not in the beginning. And that's only going to last, it says typically for 15 minutes. Okay. You might want to give them a little bit longer, so you make that call okay. and that adjustment. Okay. And then it also scripts out what you're going to say. Okay. So I really want you to use this as your cheat sheet. Okay. Um, and they're, they can work. I, your class, I want them to work together uh -huh. in pairs like we have already. Yeah. And then, like that, yes. Actually. But there's going to be some people, I think, that are going to attempt to draw the, construct the triangles. Uh -huh. Now, my question is, it says unique triangle. So, we need to unpack yeah. that vocabulary using your Freyer model. Come on and sit down. Don't worry about it right now. We'll it's get, here somewhere. I know, but we'll get it. But you want to unpack that unique triangle. Okay. Because I think, and, I, and I, I'm going to ask you, what do you think your kids are going to say when they talk about unique triangle? And are they going to be able to know the types of unique triangles? No, probably not. Give me one, at least one person, maybe one person? Maybe. What about Harrison or Anderson? The, the, see, the thing is, they may know what it is, um, like the concept, okay. but saying like, do you know what a unique triangle is? It doesn't always click to them, but if they kind of, they might have the math concept in their head, but their problem is like, it's hard for them to recall things without okay. kind of jumping into it a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right. So do you think you want to do a couple more constructions before? Because let me tell you how we did it in Richardson's and then that'll help okay. you out. 
So her, she thought that her kids came with that knowledge as well, but they didn't. Yeah. And you like, would like to think they did. Right. And maybe like two people came with the knowledge. Uh -huh. So we put it in their Freyer model. And then some people start recalling, oh, isosceles. They, so they heard the term. Yeah. They didn't necessarily know the characteristics of the triangle. Exactly. So we ended up doing construction lessons first so they could actually look and build the actual triangle and then prove that it is an isosceles. Prove. Uh, and then some people knew that it, at least what an equilateral triangle was. So we didn't have to prove that. Okay. Um, and then once we recognized that uh, it could be a right triangle, meaning it included one right angle. Mm -hmm. It could be an obtuse triangle. It has one obtuse angle. I'm looking... Actually, some of them will know that. Because we did talk about it at the beginning of the year. The concept of a unique triangle, that might be a little bit difficult for them to understand. Exactly. That it, like, everything is the same. Side lengths, and you can't make it... I'm not sure if they know that concept. Okay. Like, that dilating, like, it can be expanded. Okay. So we'll see. Okay. So I, I, I'm i going to leave that up to you. Yeah. I'm going to think about that. I'm gonna, I Usually what I do is I just ask the kids when they come back for dismissal and okay. see what they know. Okay. So, and okay. if nobody, then we'll probably have to do something. For okay. Them. But no, but remember, so in your folder, somebody has triangles like this. Somebody made a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Oh, yeah. There were a lot of examples that were very similar. A lot of okay. people use 50, 55, 40, 30, mm -hmm. 10. Does, did anybody use a 45, 90? Yes. Then that's your isosceles. Um, the biggest one, though, that people did was 60, 120 and saw that it was a non-example. Mm. But nobody did anything bigger than 60. Because they would look at it and be like, well, if I make it go this way, it's probably not going to make a triangle. Exactly. So they stopped. Okay. So they tried to make them small. So okay. maybe... Uh, I just have so many ideas of things that we can do, but I want to keep it focused on, you know, what we need to do for the full task. Okay. So I'm going to leave that up to you because you yeah. have plenty of student work yeah. that you can actually use Yeah. Okay, as an entry point. Okay, great. So this is going to be your pre-assessment. So on your, in your, um, your cycle, your plan, yeah. it has the different activities. So here on the student worksheet, uh -huh. I have the activities listed as well. Okay. So this will be activity one, and then you have the students write for the facts about the triangles that they know, the names, and then how do we label sides and angles if they are equation. And this is directly after the pre-assessment. Pre right. And this is a, I found a typo array, so it should say equal in magnitude. So I'll make that Okay, correction. so those are like the things that are building blocks to get to the post assessment. Exactly. Yeah. So each one of these will be labeled. Here's activity and labeled in your plan. And they're all together. Activity. Okay. Right. So the next activity two, and these are also um, slides that you'll put on the visualizer, but I put them in here. So, so they can see them, yeah. Exactly. And then I gave them this area here for their construction of this triangle okay and then here's their writing activity here okay okay cool and then their last one that's the the cards that I put together uh-huh so if you put it on poster board I have like I have plenty of stuff we can okay do. wonderful and then they're gonna have three columns and then they're gonna categorize them but they need rulers protractors and plain paper so they can do the investigations themselves 